why he trained him. And they allowed that because he was a champ and they had respect with him that he wouldn't do nothing that would cause me to spill out in the yard and stab him. That was the dude Giz. So Giz Moore was train him with the Sergeant with Jackson the made him his proto his protege. Sergeant Jackson, the dude that I'm telling you about, the police made Giz his protege and said that Brid Giz make parole. If he can make parole before he turned age 28, because they're gonna consider him too old to turn pro. Because of his because of his sense of background. They're gonna want him to go back to amateur and fight amateur shit like that. This dude sergeant was telling him, I can get you to turn pro and get pro fights if you come home before you're 28 years old. Mm. So he made it home and he was like 30, 32 or 33. This was Giz. Right. Okay. So it was too late. He didn't want to go back to amateur fighting because there's no money in amateur fighting. Yeah. So he went back to a hood nigga again. You know, had he made it out of prison, he would have been able to make some pro money fighting and shit like that. He never made it. But in the penitentiary, single-handedly between him and the sergeant I'm talking about and another dude named um, uh, uh, Sha uh, Sharif, uh, 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 Sharif, Sharif from Fort Green was dudes that was mentors and trainers in the state. So if you went to these jails where these dudes was at, they would snatch you up. Yo, you in this gang? Nah, get out of here, man. Come here in this corner, and you're working out, and you're running, and you're training, and you're doing push-ups, and you're working with us, and we train you. These was a few dudes in the state that was doing this with young dudes. And because of that program was so successful, they allowed it to expand in other jails. Okay. And then that's when the stabbing shit went down in Attica, and, 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 and Elmira. And once that went down, man, the administration was like, nah, because they started letting inmates spar against each other now inmates that already had beefs and everything that's on the boxing team they were saying okay let me spar with lavar today okay you spar with you man and he get the best of you and all that and you feeling some kind of way tomorrow out in the yard man you're gonna step to the dude that's just how the game go and when it go down like that man it's no more we in the ring no more with these on it's he got a razor you got your knife you got your boys he got his boys it, it jump off and now y'all both bleeding, and then y'all and y'all gotta leave. This all because this spilled down because somebody decided to let two prisoners spar against each other in preparation of a fight coming up with an outside person. And that's where they just scrapped the whole program, you know?